Guys, how's it going? Welcome back to part three. Yeah, how did I lose track? There's only been two other parts. Um, I'm recording this after I got home. Uh, I don't exactly remember where we left off. I remember. Got one person killed and saved one person. Again, keeping up the trend. Let's see if we keep it up this time. Um, let's see. What else did we do? Uh, called Ponty's Pizza. Um, learned about their slow roast, three hour, slow cooked pizza, which is a pizza that they cook over the course of three hours. I don't know why anybody would order that. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we got to explore more of the office, went down to the reception desk, and, uh, the kitchen in the back. Um, we had some helpful advice, like that one of the cashiers at the local grocery store can't whistle. No, it's not her. She's not the killer. Um, and also that there is... What was the guy's name? I think she said the killer's... One of the ladies we saved, Her, she said the killer's name was Mike or Craig, maybe? I, I don't remember. But apparently there's a janitor who works at the station with the same name. Uh, so, I mean, let's get back into it. See where we go. Here. Oh, I'm still suffering from my cold. It's not a bad cold, it's just strong. Oh. I remember, we ended when we... There was a, one of the time skips they do, I think? Have a call waiting. Shut the fuck up. I'm catching the nice people at home up on what's going on. Yeah. We got a phone call and we stopped. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream. Let's see what they want. Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this all horrifying. What a business? A killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Ooh, terrible. <sighs> I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It's a safe, family-friendly place. What small business do you own? You sure are up late. Good for you, friend. He is up late. I think it's like one in the morning or something. You sure are up late. I guess you must love the work. Oh, I sure do. You know, we're at it all day, every day, and that includes major holidays we've got coming up, like Halloween, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Oh, it's my life. All right. You must really, really love your work. What is your business anyways? I kind of just want to keep this going and not ask him. Just see how long he keeps saying he loves it. You must really, really love your work. Oh. I do. My small business really is my whole world. That just gave me a heart attack. What's your small business? <laughs> oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh, since you ask, it's Ponty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in town! Well, Come on down and get yourself a cracking deal on our two for one God damn it, Ponty, no! No free ads! I mean, he did kind of save a woman's life. I mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. But he didn't know that. Mad, Peggy, that sort of thing just... Uh, I can be mad. Why Look, am I... he's gone now. We already have somebody else on the line. Just take a deep breath and let's keep going. I was wondering why everything was so quiet. Um... But yeah. I don't know if we can really be super mad at him. We did use him to... Stop a murder. I, I should take this call. Shut. What did Forrest just say? That usually Peggy's the one who's like, "Hey, pick up the phone." Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16 The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. Hi. Hello. Am I on air? No. Sure, our caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein, and I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show. 
looking up at the stars and waiting for her. So this is what it's going to be used for. a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Molly. We planned to get lost in the maze maze tonight. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she'd be here an hour ago. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Ask for what? Should I call her up and ask if she's coming, or wait and see? You've been there for a while, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. <sighs> but... He was there for over an hour. It's... Even if you don't want to be like, oh, I don't want to call her to early or anything, which is stupid, but even if you do think that way, an hour is definitely enough time to give you a heads up, hey, I can't come or something, or I'm going to be late. Go home to your parents. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. There is a murder. My parents are dead, actually. Shit! But, uh... Oh, jeez. Did I get them killed, yeah, too? I guess it's not the night. Did they die tonight? Hang on. Molly! I'm in the middle! It'll take a little while to get here, but, uh, thanks again, Forrest. That's not Molly. Good talking. Yeah, that's not Molly. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. Is Molly the, uh, cashier at the grocery oh, store? No, this is supposed to be the best night of my life! Not the worst! Uh... You know the way out? Just run through the walls. You could do, uh, some of these sections actually look pretty thick, if these maps are accurate. Uh, we'll get you out of this. Stay calm, Eugene. We'll get you out of this. Carl, I'm about to die a virgin! That Listen, does suck, Eugene, but, breathe, you know. Hide, and call back in a minute. We'll get you out. Call back in a minute? I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry. Well, listeners. While Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Oh shit, I didn't get a new one. I think I did Vice. I think I've done them all, actually. I'm just gonna... I think the hang-up was actually my favorite. I think. Yeah. You're gonna love this next track. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the maze maze? You know, Barbara, our receptionist? I don't She's know. She's maze maze fanatic. How could she we do it? Here. Why'd she change her mind? She went with that jerk Brad instead. Mm, she didn't do that, actually. Does everyone in Gallows Creek go on dates in the maze maze? A lot of folks do. Boring. There's something nice about getting lost, I guess. No, there's not. And besides, there's not much else to do here. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. What do you mean? But she probably has Maze Maze stuff somewhere. Hmm, where? Go and see what you can find. Wherever Carol could it be? Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara! You know, Barbara! I don't know Barbara. Uh, well, I do. I've seen you speak to her. She's the receptionist. Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception. Never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ain't doing that anymore. Right, yeah. Sorry, I guess it's just the stress of No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. I'm gonna head down there, even though I feel like the maze maze map is it. But you know, might as well take a walk around and get a refresher. Oh fuck wait. I know how this got here. I put that there. Where did this did I put this here? Meh. Take my trusty weapon. Kind of want to go on the roof, but the door is locked, sadly. Gonna place a booby trap again. I do like the little radios around. Uh, looks like Brad broke her heart. Yeah. Wonder what she'd have done with all that maze maze stuff. I don't know. It feels a little weird that we had to. So we were allowed down in this area, but we were supposed to explore and get the package, the 
cassette tape that was dropped off there. Then after that, we went into this staff area and went to the kitchen over here. It's weird they wouldn't have us come into this reception area first. I mean, I guess it makes sense they wouldn't be perfectly lined up or whatever. I mean, I already got the maze maze map. I don't need to do this. I just thought it would be kind of fun to see what's down here. But uh, we already saw everything that's down here. Including a shit ton of coffee mugs. And they aren't even the KFAM brand mugs. Why do we have so many coffee mugs of our own? Well, I mean, I guess if you're going to have coffee mugs with your logo on it, might as well have them in your actual business. Let's go tell Peggy that uh, her friend and Brad broke up. Any luck? For Eugene? Yes. For Barbara? No. Brad canceled the date, so Barbara left her tickets and a map for the maze maze behind. Ugh, Barbara can do better than... Never mind. Let's save the kid. Eugene called while you were away. He's on line one. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I hope you lovers like that track. And I hope we can help our lover in the maze maze. Eugene, you're back on air. We're trying to get him out, I imagine. So we got the tractor one next to like the weird guy. Uh, golden hay bales to his right. So he'd be. So if he goes straight, that leads him to the little guy. How do you? The this is they must really love this maze because. I've lived in a small town, they do multiple corn mazes, I've never seen anything as complicated as this. So I think we want him to go... Ooh. He bails to his right, he goes left, runs down, do three and four there, takes a, another left it looks like, takes another left, follows that, goes to six, seven, up to eight, over, down, down. To nine, and then that should be out. Uh, facing a tractor statue, he goes. What is going backwards? Get him. Yeah, going backwards doesn't work. Go work back. left. Yep, that's right. I left and right. Left, then tried a right. I have a pig statue in front of me and a creepy rocking horse on my left. Uh his pig statue in front. Pig statue in front of him, rocking horse on his left. So we should go backwards. Go backwards. Oh God. Why didn't I just find her over? The fuck was that noise? I'm at a crossroads. There's a pitchfork statue up ahead. Which way? Pitchfork statues ahead, so he goes left again. Go left. Tiny bar to barn ahead, so he goes. Would he go left or right? Shit, I got all turned around. That way's left, so. 
forward does not work. Right is a... Right. Go right. We've done two lefts already anyway, so... I can't run much more. Shit. I just passed a cordon silo. Didn't see anything else. Please. Where do I go? Right again. Same situation as before. If he's at the crossroads, right? He just passed a corn silo. Go right. my breath the whole time. I actually kind of did too. It went pretty well, all told. <laughs> I think you're right. By the way, why do you think Molly missed their date? Maybe because there's a murderer. She's okay. Unfortunately for Eugene, I think she probably never left home. Yeah, it's, so it's 1.50 in the morning now. Well, 1.49, but same fucking difference. Thank you for calling in Mr. Walton. We'll make sure to add the town librarian to our list of suspicious Clives. Remember, report a Clive to stay alive. Jesus Christ. The is up, Forrest, so take it away. It's gonna be fucking Ponty's Pizza again. I swear to Christ. Ponty's, if this is you, I'm gonna send the whistling man after you. Collar, you're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, wonderful show tonight, Forrest. Who the fuck are you? Thank you. That's really wonderful of you to say. What's your name, Collar? Uh, you can call me Don. Could you play my tune, Forrest? Your tune? Sure. Long Ride Home. That old song? Sure. We got it. I think I played it the other day. Thanks. It'll be good to hear it again. All right, folks. Coming up is that old classic. Uh, Forrest, I don't think you're gonna find that song. What do you mean? I played it a few nights ago. I know, but, uh, we don't have it anymore. What are you talking about? I threw it away. You threw it in the trash? No, I... Uh, I threw it out the window earlier today. What? Uh, and why did you throw it out the window earlier today? Brad was annoying me all afternoon. He played it on repeat because he knows I don't like it. All right, I guess so I'll go I get it. it and threw it right out of one of the office windows. I'm actually gonna have to go get it. Not my finest hour, but I can only take so much. I'm gonna just hide it though. All right. So, uh, what do we do instead then? Let's just play a different song. We've got more important things to think about anyway. Fuck you, Peggy. Gotcha. Okay, folks. Here comes some unrequested music. Sorry about that, Don. Maybe try again tomorrow night. Sorry. Can I? I'm gonna go get it. Oh, I can leave. Oh, fuck. I can't just leave. Why can't I go and get it? I kind of want to go and get it. Just walk outside while there's a killer around. Not like it'll hurt me. I mean, half the people we got were inside their homes or work, and he still got them, so it's not like... Record on. Shut the fuck up. Forrest, I swear to God. I know him. You love him. This is Roddy Snatcher with his new single, Final Breath. Of all the songs to request, why'd it have to be that one? Why'd you hey, throw it out the window? What did the barn finds ever do to you? Wrote that song, for one. It gets real old when you're forced to listen to it on repeat for years. <sighs> Why couldn't they just request Roddy? Oh, Forrest, scrap the song. We have another caller. Fucker. 
Sorry to cut the music short, folks. Callers take priority tonight. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. This is Forrest Nad. 189.16. It's Murphy. Hey, what uh, what brings you back? What do you mean? Uh, oh, the killer got me back. Oh. I. Uh, why did I ever trust a guy named Master Robin? I don't know. I warned you not to. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Okay. Forrest, we need to do something. He's dying. Oh, that's brutal. This guy's a son, I gotta save him. Hold on, Murphy, we'll call for help right now. You gotta hurry, man. I need someone here now, or I'm gonna die. Yeah, does this not have a fire department? Cause get the fire department on the line. On it. Alright. Is that gonna route to us? Come on, pick up. Hi. Yes, I'd like to report a fire over at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. It's an emergency. What do you mean it's not operational? Why what? is there no backup vehicle? He... Oh, God damn it! Forrest, that evil son of a bitch slashed the tires on the town's only fire engine. They can't do anything. How do you slash fire truck tires? friends who live nearby. Maybe one of them can save Murphy. Where do they live? My friend Alex lives on the corner of Haddonfield and Romero Street. And Catherine lives on the west end of Myers Lane. And there's Jericho on the east end of Myers Lane. But he's... old. Really old. Okay, I'll check the map, see who would be best to do this. I don't remember who lives where. What? Haddonfield, so he lives on Haddonfield and Romero. I'm just making sure this is it, right? Oh, here it is. Corner of Haddonfield right next to Romero. He lives there. Catherine lives at the west end of Myers Lane. So, around there. Old Man Jericho. Old Man Jericho. Lives at the east end of Myers Lane. Oh, so he's on the other side. That does not help right now. Um, well, he's old. He's not that far down the street. Uh, so I think Alex. All right, Forrest. Who should I call? Who can help Murphy? I don't even know if the old. Call Alex. All right, give me a second. He's not going to pick up, is he? They're on the way. They'll oh. call from the plant. You can direct them from there. Well, let's hope they get there in time. What do you mean, direct them from there? How do I tell them to get in there? How do, I don't even know what the inside looks like. Forrest, I'm getting a call. Right. Are you sure you can't? What's happening, Peggy? Alex was too far away. Too slow. The plant burned down. It collapsed. What do you mean? So Murphy is... Poor Fernando is gonna be crushed. Well, he's down the street. Dude. Who do I call? Jericho... I should have known it would be old man Jericho because, you know, old man has to save him, obviously. But you could walk this road before the fire burns the place down. Like, I don't... All right, hang on. Is there anything here that says how out of, promor out of proportion this map is? Because this thing has to be like a hundred times bigger than it is. Like, it would be estimated to be on here. 
Unless that is not... Oh, if it's waste disposal site, that would be it, right? I don't see anywhere else it is. Well, at least we killed him quick. Hey, and we kept up the score. We saved one and killed the other. He did not die a hero, but I'll say he His did. His father died a hero. He was just trying to protect the town. That's actually pretty nice, Forrest. He fucking beefed it, but yeah, he was trying. Murphy, I promise we will stop this. For you and for Fernando. Peggy, it's going to be our... Forrest, we have another caller. Let's not waste time. It's Murphy. <laughs> hey, I made it out myself. The guy took so long. What do you mean? Right, folks. Another of our good citizens is on the line. Let's see what they have to say. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Forrest, Teddy Gallows Jr. here. I just want to say that my thoughts and prayers are with my Gallows Creek neighbors during this awful time. Oh, it's mayoral candidate and scion of the town founders, Mr. Gallows. Are you in danger? We need to be a town of law and order. We need cops who have the tools and funding they need to keep us safe. You're doing a shit job. Okay, Teddy. We... I know. You're an outsider to our little town here, You know here, what? Morris. Go kill the whistling man and I'll but vote for you. you really stepping up the bat for us all tonight. I just want to say thank you for taking a swing for Gallows Creek. Jackass. <laughs> You're a prick, Teddy. I want to make sure I get this out on air to all of Gallows Creek. You're a real prick, Teddy. I just want to make sure our town is safe and prosperous. That's why the Gallows Family Factory Founded by my father, Theodore C. Gallows, God rest his soul, which employs over 200... Teddy, unless you've got an emergency, I'm cutting you off. You know what? I do have a problem. You're a dick, Forrest. A problem that's ruining Jesus. our times. <laughs> you know what it is? The Whistling Man, emergency not problem... Family's waste plant burned. Oh, it was his waste plant? Hmm. Yeah. Did, does he know it burned down yet? And that there's a dead guy inside anyways. Your family waste plant just burned down? So now we have nowhere to dump our garbage? The problem is that woman, our current mayor, Linda Cartwright. Oh, here we go. She just isn't one of us. Linda Cartwright is un-American, unstable, and... You're not better than anyone, Teddy. Just because you inherited half the town, it... Your producer sounds a little unstable, too. Don't you dare speak to me that way. Game off, Peggy. I can guarantee this kind of thing will not happen when I take office. Go kill the whistling man. moral decay of... And that's enough of Teddy Gallows Jr. for one lifetime. I always feel disgusting after hearing him talk. Just play an ad for us. I need a minute. He sounds like... right back after these messages. He sounded like the reporter we got killed. The world-famous annual Gallows Creek Harvest Festival is back! We got it all out on Giblet Field. We got... The Little Miss Harvest Pageant, Princess Harvest Pageant, Harvest ever... Queen Pageant, Cotton Candy, Corn Dogs, Cornhole, Corn on the Cob, Crokinole, Country Music, Where did Jam, I get this Jam, from? Jelly, Jamborees, Juggling, Roller Rickies, Roller Disco Lessons. Pray. We got baby crawling, balloon popping, balloons for sale, beard contest, horseshoes, hayride, hay toss, hey you there, safe donkeys and ponies, apple bobbing, firearm, fireworks, funnel cakes, fried dough, sheets, bitten, sand licking, cracker cramming, and cat shop. This place is everything. And bait, tattoo, face, paint, and puppets, pet and zoo, amazing, maze, maze, square dancing, story swapping, spelling bee, quilting bee, and sewing circle, pie eating, lawnmower racing, hot dog eating contest, flower contest, and of course our famous 
Gord Measure Off. The Jesus festival Christ. brought to you by Mayor Linda Cartwright, sponsored by Gallows and Sons Factory and dedicated to the memory of Garrett Miley, tragically taken from us last festival. I can see why it's world famous. It's a highlight around here for us. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Peggy. All right, folks, welcome back to the show. We have a note from my producer. That's right. Come find me at the Harvest Festival tomorrow to grab your choice of a KFAM mug, sticker set, or poster. I'm sorry, what? Let's see what our next caller would choose. I'm sorry. Caller on line one. So, we're still having the Harvest Festival, despite, I think, three people being murdered? Four. One of them being the town sheriff, one of them being one of the town deputies, and that means there's only two deputies take left. Shot. Hit the button and take the call. Shut the fuck up, Peggy. Um, yeah, we've gotten a senior editor killed, uh, one of the deputies, one of the three deputies killed, the sheriff died, um, who else died? I don't even remember their names anymore. I kind of feel bad about that. Hmm. The lines lit up. I need to take the call. Shut the fuck up, Forrest. Anyways, yeah. I'm a little confused why we're still having the fair tomorrow, considering, you know, a number of people have died. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. Shit. Uh, hello. Caller. Who is this? I need the police. I am the I'm law. Forrest Nash. I, <clears throat> I'm standing in for 911 tonight. What, what's wrong? There's a guy hunting me and my friends. I... I think he's killed some of them already. That's him. I... He's just outside. I can see him from up here. God damn it. She's just a kid. Kid, she sounds older than Sandra, who called earlier. Where are you? Are, are you somewhere safe? Oh my god, oh my god. And then stay with me, kid. Focus. I, I can't do this. Well, then you're gonna die. Yes, you can. Focus. Tell me, what's your name? Sweetie, Her you can do it. What's your name? Carrie. Good, good. Carrie, listen to me. We're going to get you out of there. All right? Don't bet on that. The old murder house. Upstairs. You know, on second thought, let's not help her. She went to a murder house? The old murder house? That's... At this point, it's just on her. Bathrooms have locks. Bedrooms sometimes have locks. Closets don't lock. Bedroom? Go to the bedroom. Okay, I'll... She should have ran. It's a carry reference. Wait, isn't that Jimmy? That wasn't funny, you sicko! Of course I called the cops, but, but some guy just answered instead. God damn it. Forrest Nash, what the hell are you all doing? It's prank night, old man. We're just having fun. That's the kid. 
The kid who called in earlier pretending to be the whistling man. That's it. I'm out of here. No, don't. Jimmy, everyone, it's really not safe to be out. Please, go home. And waste whistling night? <laughs> no way. That little idiot. Whistling night? It's a stupid tradition. Especially stupid since that one kid died back in... <sighs> Would you take off that stupid mask if it's hard to breathe? Who's under there anyway? Is that you? Is that... Idiot! Seth is right next to you. That's, uh... Oh, no. Uh, wait. Oh, no. Who, uh... Who are you? Oh, no, man! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I think he's a ghost. Not much. Forest. Kind of shows up. Heather, I already called the cops. Forest picked up. He's the best we're gonna get. Nobody in this town owns a gun. My friend, we drove out to the old murder house, and of course, the van. Who's got the keys? Jimmy. Jimmy had them. Yep. Jimmy. Eh. Oh, calm down. Jimmy's a dick. Okay, okay. It's gonna be okay, Carrie. Right. Right. We'll figure something out. Between all of you, there's gotta be a way to beat this. Just sit tight, okay? Hit him. Heather, shut up. If we do that, we're gonna get killed. <sighs> if only Jeannie were here. Jeannie? The fuck is Jeannie? Jeannie McPherson? Our intern Jeannie? Yes. She's my best friend and the smartest one out of all of us. She stayed in tonight. Forrest, listen. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with and, uh... What? Scott, you're not any good at... Uh, and... No, no, Chad. Out of all of us, you're not the one to... Oh. Everything okay? No. We... Uh, uh, we're figuring out a plan. But everyone's volunteering to do things that are just bad at. I think we can figure out what to do, but I don't think we can agree on who should do what. I think you'll have to be the tiebreaker, or else these idiots are going to get us killed. Just gang right. up and hit him. Right. How many of you are there? Shut up, you... Ugh. Forrest, I'll call you back. But I don't know anything about your friends. <laughs> Ugh. These damn kids never learn. Jeannie knows about the kids. Breathe, Peggy. It's okay. She had the quiz every year for us. Yes, People get hurt. All right, <clears throat> folks, we're gonna work out a way to save Carrie and her friends. This next one goes out to all the trap kids out there. Peggy, you mentioned something about their friend working here. An intern, yeah, Jeannie seems a nice enough girl, but a bit head in the clouds, you know. Not sure why we took on an intern. You really didn't have the office space for one. That poor thing got tucked away in a dark corner somewhere downstairs, I heard. Alright, I'll go see if I can find her desk. She had Hopefully the quiz. Something we can use. Yeah. Peggy said her desk is downstairs. What's up, guys? Sorry about that. You're going to experience a cut here. Um, I had to pick up my sister from school. Uh, I lost track of time. That's why I didn't do an outro. And we already started this, so it wouldn't make sense to just cut it off and have to redo it. We are... It hasn't even been that long, but we're going downstairs to look for Jennifer's desk, which we know where that is. It's in this stupid corner. I don't know why I call it the corner itself Jeez, stupid. They really tucked Jeannie away. Uh... Boring papers. Where's that? Here it is. Friendship quiz. Yep. This might work. Friendship quiz. 
So let's see, James got stabbed, or was it Jimmy? It was some guy, I think, with a J name. He got stabbed to death. Uh, we didn't like him because he prank called us. Murder's a fitting punishment for that. What? Is... This doesn't move anything when I try to do it. Try to move it. Are those hinges? Or are they just... Wait, oh, is this the bathroom stall door? I bet. Probably is. Yep. Wait. A second? Why is... This one is vertical. That one's vertical on the outside. This one's sideways? That's the inside of the door, I think, so let's go in there and see if that's hor horizontal. Ah, yeah it is. Wait, can I lock this? Oh, that would be useful if I could lock this. That would also be scary, because I would imagine that would mean I'd have to hide at some point. Alright, we got this friendship quiz. I guess let's reveal it. Most likely to peak Mount Everest. Heather. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. So... We'll just do it in the moment, you know. Fuck uh, research. I didn't study in school at all and I passed. So fuck it. We'll work it out. Boo, boo, boo. Hey, hey, what's up, Peggy? You find anything that'll help us out? Yeah, I found a friendship quiz with all these kids on it. If you think that'll help, then good enough. Carrie's on line one. Whenever you're ready. All right, let me change my music. That's uh, more important. I'm not even going to play the music right now. It's for after. This is Forrest Nash, back again with an unlucky caller on this Shit, sorry. unlucky night. Fuck. Carrie, are you there? Yes, we've got a plan, but we can't agree on who should do what. You want me to be the tiebreaker? Exactly. I'm ready. What's the first step? I love this game. Okay, first things first. We'll need a spotter. Someone who can keep an eye on the killer. We'll need someone on the roof. It's gonna be a hard climb. We're deciding between Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. Heather, Kyle, and Hot David. <laughs> Most likely to peak Mount Everest, that sounds about right, is Heather. Hot David scored a 1, and Kyle also scored a 1. So will all these correspond to the guys who are choices? Uh, most likely to become an Olympic athlete. That could also help if it's a difficult climb. Hot David has 2, Heather also has 2. So Heather's leading in most likely to peak Mount Everest, and to become an Olympic athlete. Is there anything on the back like, can't climb, or something? Most likely to win an Oscar, most likely to beat everyone at go-karting, most likely to triple running in a horror movie, so don't make him run for anything. Most likely to end up in a car crash, Scott, so don't let Scott drive. Uh, we'll do Heather. She kind of seems to ace it. Heather's got this. Yes, Heather, he picked you. Now please, stop talking about all your cheerleading trophies. <laughs> Part two, the whistling man padlocked the gate back to the road. Before we drive out of here, we need someone to pick the lock. Seth, Jennifer, and Scott all want to do it. Seth, Jennifer, Scott. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. That doesn't help. Most likely to end up in prison. That could help. Seth. Seth Flugin leading. Most likely to escape prison. That's a big one. Ooh, Jennifer's leading in that one. And she has a one in the one to end up in prison. I mean. Just because you wind up in prison doesn't mean you can escape prison. I scored a one there. Pass their driving tests. Fuck. God. Oh, God. Oh, no. Most likely to beat everyone at go-karting. Most likely to triple running in a horror movie. Most likely to end up in a car crash. I'm going to go with Jennifer. I guess escaping doesn't necessarily mean picking locks, but... I don't know. Makes sense to me, I guess. Jennifer. Jesus, Jennifer, you carry a bump key? Oh. Why did you say so Perfect. Earlier? Anyway, that brings us to part three. Getting the van keys. <laughs> I'll volunteer for this. I don't know Jimmy as well as you guys, so... It'll probably be easier that way. Oh. That is part four. Oh, Jimmy, yeah, he died. Ambitious. His plan is ambitious. His plan is, uh, <laughs> well, it's ambitious. Thank you. You're doing great. No. What's the next part? Part four. We need someone to lead the whistling man away. We need a fast runner. For this one, we're trying to decide between... Who 
was it again? Pod David, Cynthia, and Scott. Well, it can't be Scott. He's most likely to trip. Uh, Hot David is most likely to be a, an Olympic athlete. So he's got two going for him. And Cynthia has nothing, at least in either of those categories. So we'll do Hot David. Hot David. Oh. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, uh... You spend a lot of time running shirts. <laughs> you got this, Hot David. Sweet! Okay, let's recap. We get the eyes on the roof. A runner distracts the killer while we grab the van keys and pick the lock on the gate. Now the tricky part. The getaway. Ooh, what's the plan there? Well, we can't all outrun the whistling man. But he thinks we're just a bunch of stupid teens. So, let's use that against him. Part five. We trick the killer into a trap. What? Someone can pretend to be injured. Who would make the most believe? Who you got? We got Lisa, Tammy, and Cynthia. Most likely to win the award for worst poker face. So Cynthia is not good at acting. Who are the other ones? Tammy? No, not Tammy. Lisa? She's not on the worst poker face. Oh, Tammy is. She also isn't great in that department. Sounds like Lisa. Most likely to end up in prison. Most likely to escape prison. Most likely to become an Olympic athlete. Fuck her. Most likely to pass their driving test. Most likely to win an Oscar. Ooh, Lisa and Tammy? Isn't Tammy on here? Alright. Lisa isn't here too, is she? No, she isn't. I'm gonna go with Lisa. Her and Tammy are tied, but Tammy also has bad poker face. Worst poker face. The... I feel like this one's easier than some of the other ones, and that's kind of funny about this one, because some of them are, oh, here's a map, you know, just lead them through the map, where the hardest part was just figuring out, like, orientation, and then other ones are like, here's a random layout of an office building, arbitrarily kind of choose where your guy goes, and where you call. Because, why would he even answer the phone? Like, I mean, after the first time, like, after the first call, if nobody else shows up and he answers the phone... Nobody's probably going to show up to the next one. Why would he go there? Uh, whatever. Um, I really like this game. It's fun. Uh, Lisa. Yeah, sorry. Got sidetracked. Lisa. You're right, Lisa. Having to smile at rude customers is perfect practice. That should take care of the killer. And then it's time to get out of here. Finally, part six. We need someone who can drive us through the woods and back to Gallows Creek alive. Back to Gallows Creek? Should it be... Who have we got? Jimmy. Chad, Scott, Cynthia, uh, whatever. Forrest, you know what to do. What? Where is... Where is Jimmy? Scott, Cynthia... So Scott and Cynthia are on the most likely to end up in a car crash. Um, Cynthia's better than Scott. Chad's not on here at all, so he's probably the better one. What did I do to Jimmy? Oh, yeah, Jimmy died. I guess that's why he had the car keys. Alright, um, well, it's not going to be Scott or Cynthia, I don't think. Anything else on cars here? Or on... Chad? Chad, Chad, Chad. Worst poker face, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Most likely to pass their threat, Jimmy. Most likely to win an Oscar. Nothing about Chad. Most likely to beat everyone at go-kart. I mean, Chad's on there. He's not the best. Oh, Scott's better. He's also most likely to crash. He's just as likely to end up in a car crash as he is good at go-karting, which seems counterintuitive. I'm going to give this one to Chad. I don't think it's a good idea with a name like Chad, but Scott may be good at go-karting, but he's also good at crashing, apparently. I don't. First. We'll just take a few seconds for ourselves, and then it's go time. <laughs> Sounds good. Talk to you in a sec. Good luck, Carrie. Uh, I'm not sure. That actually sounded like a pretty good plan. Complicated, but not bad. Impressive as hell, right? Damn straight. Yeah, they thought of that when I walked downstairs. That's all the time it took. 
Did I play music? Oh, the kids are oh, back already. Shit. Line one. Fuck. Now. Of course. I'm had to really pick up the phone and just like, oh my god, everyone's dead. If you're just tuning in, we're coming to you live with a bunch of teens about to flee a madman. Listener discretion is advised. That's my ghost. Ready, Carrie? We're good to go for us. Carrie's dead. Hit it. Good luck. Don't die. Eh, luck seems. Eh. They have a pretty solid plan. I'll just say hit it. Alrighty then. Hit it. You got this. I'll give you some music. Slaughter! To the roof! Go, Heather! She's off and away! Alright, Renner. Get ready. Wait for the spotter signal. Spotter says go. Keys, Carrie. You need eh. to get the van keys. Jimmy's a bitch. His is lying next to him for his... He got caught. Oh. Oh, God. That's pretty intense. Focus. Breathe. Breathe. Right. The van keys. Jimmy was a dick. Fuck his face. Don't... God. No, don't do that. Wait. Jennifer got the gate unlocked. And Hot David should be back any second. You're doing great. Until he's Focus. just in the car. We got this. We got this. Oh shit. Step, Sorry. Trap the killer. Where are they All trapping right. him? Wait. Get into position. Everybody else. Hide. Okay, performer. Now, act like your life depends on it. Because it does. Kill him. Oh my god! He went through the floor! Well then, run! Spotter! You need to climb down now! We gotta go! He's coming down! And he... Yes! Heather! Quick, everyone to the van! Driver, take the keys! I love the sound of everyone just scuffling. Just hit it. What? It's a gate. It won't stay open. I'll hold it. It's you drive through. How heavy of a gate is it? Just shut just bump it with your car and push that? it. It's a whistling man. Drive now. Just push the gate open. Oh, we got pissed you lost. Thank God you're okay. Can you get somewhere safe? I can make it home. Don't go into the woods, though. Thank you both for helping. If you hadn't, I... It was your plan, Carrie. And it was a great plan. Why don't you stop talking and run? You get home. Go. You get home now, Carrie, before he changes his mind. 
Right. I, I need to get home. Breathe, Carrie. You're okay now. Run! Are you when I'm somewhere safe? Talk to you then. I actually got... I love this game. Folks, that was a... That was a lot. Our thoughts go out to Jimmy's parents. In no. This awful time. They don't. He was a dick. listening in, please stay inside and stay safe. And parents, hug your kids extra tight tonight. Here's a song for the girl walking home in the dark. Oh. All teens except Jimmy. That's a funny achievement. Hey, we had a call come in. What? Why don't you fucking tell me? Well, I guess you did, but you said it like we already had the call. Forrest Nash here. Listeners, we've got another caller live on 189.16, The Scream. What's on your mind, caller? Hey, Forrest, I just wanted to phone in and say that I think I speak for everyone when I say that you're providing a real service for Gallows Creek tonight. Is this Ponty? So what you doing, man? Well, I'm just doing my job, friend. Anyway, tell me about yourself. Is this What's Ponty's? Your name? Are you keeping safe tonight? Yeah, man, I'm good, thanks. I'm at my roller rink. Trying to get everything ready for the Harvest Festival tomorrow. I had a guy from Starling Security here earlier installing the Starling 4000 system, so I'm a little behind. As for my name, my friends call me Roller Ricky. And That's a cool I now name. consider you a friend, my man. We're friends now, huh? Well, that's kind of you to say. Thanks. Yeah, man. Sounds like roller skating is more than just a job to you. So is this vocational? I wasn't always Roller Ricky. Once upon a time, believe it or not, I used to go by just Ricky. No. Yeah. Back then, things were pretty rough. I used to kill people. I used to roll with a bad crowd. <laughs> not all bad, but there was one guy. Named Jimmy. Anyway, uh, some bad stuff went down. I harbored a lot of guilt for a long time and turned to the bottle. I didn't really talk about it or, or even know how to talk about it. It's just how it was. That bottle took the best years of my life. Or so I thought. It's never too late, Roller Ricky. How did you turn things around? I joined a support group. I opened up about my problems. And sharing that burden just took so much weight off. It's a long story from there, but I found Roller Disco. I learned how to have fun again, cutting loose and making shapes. Now whenever I get down, I get down. <laughs> finally free from it all man it's important just to talk to somebody that's the first step ain't that right max oh, oh. Aww, hello max oh, they better not kill max well he certainly sounds like a good boy max is my emotional support dog he's a rescue dog but i always say he's the one that rescued me Best dog a guy could ask for. Ricky better not die. First thing I did was teach him how to skate. What? He's better than me now, a real pro. Max can skate. Yeah, man. At first they said it couldn't be done, and then they said it shouldn't be done. But Maxie loves the rink, man. Is that another train, Maxie? Maxie loves trains, man. He's even got that special how to greet them. <laughs> Sounds like you two make a great pair. Uh, Maxi appreciates all the positivity you're throwing out, my man. You know, I'm actually hosting free skating lessons tomorrow at the festival. I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community. That's nice. Man, all this talk of skating has got me itching for a boogie. Before I switch my radio off for the night, could I request a song for us? Something I can groove to, you know, something funky. It'll be me and Maxi's final boogie breakdown tonight. Then I think we'll take it down a level. I can do that. Thanks again for calling. You and Max, be safe now, okay? Bye, Maxie. Oh, you got it, man. Peace. The flow. Well, this next one goes out to Roller Ricky and Max. Enjoy. Uh. Now it's time to go with the flow. 
And this is their hit, crying for help. Yeah, this is probably it. I really needed that call, you know, after everything. Yeah, I get that. He talked a bit much for my taste, but it is inspiring to hear somebody come back from the brink like that. I'm like yeah, Jimmy. That, that's what I meant. <sighs> you were thinking about Max on skates, weren't you? Of course. Well, uh, would you look at that? Another caller on the line. Already? What are the odds? Better take it. Dude, but he and Max just started boogieing down, dude. Time to turn the music off. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. <laughs> this is Forrest Nash. How are you tonight, caller? I'm doing okay. I made it home safe. Oh. Gary! Hey, I, I just wanted to thank you for doing what you could earlier. You know, even though we lost Jimmy and I don't know. Hey, it's okay. You were so brave earlier. You're safe now. I wanted to ask you why. Why he didn't. Why am I? Why what, Carrie? You didn't kill her. After what he did, why let me go? He was impressed? A victim? He got bored. I don't think he got bored. He got a bookshelf dropped on him and fell through the floor. Although prank going for the pranksters is like a horror movie thing, I guess. But usually that's like a revenge horror movie thing. And saying he saw you as a victim? Yeah, I mean... His victim. <laughs> he was trying to kill her. I mean... Let's think about it. He went after the police. And everybody else, I think... No, that's not true. I was going to say everybody else, like, was part of the Marshall Mooney case, but I think only one guy was, right? Uh, the fucking reporter. Uh, maybe he only wanted to hurt the pranksters. I, maybe. Did he just think everyone was making fun of him? Did he always hate these hazing rituals? I, I mean, if he did, why wait all these years to, why do this now? You like it? These stupid hazing nights have to stop. Carrie, you did so well tonight. Stay safe and rest. Help is coming to Gallows Creek. We just need to hold on. Thanks, Peggy. Hey, Forrest? Uh, could I request a song? Of course, Carrie. What song? Any song by Blast Processor. And thank you. This next one goes out to Carrie. I love the music. You know, what Carrie just said has really got me thinking. About what? The whistling man left her alone. Why? <laughs> there must be a reason. When it comes to masked whistling killers, I don't think a reason is a key part of their process. Yes. Well, it's something to consider. I guess, I mean... I need to take a break. If you want to stretch your legs, now's the time. Just hit the Peggy button when you want to get back on air. I guess I'll go walk around. I feel like that's a clue or something. Maybe new CDs available? Might as well take a deeper look, I guess. Is this new? Did they did these show up when we found them? Not getting in there tonight. <laughs> Any of these lockers get open? Nope. Anything hidden here in the potted plant? Trash can. The ominous whistling from outside. Wind whistling, not like the, um, you know, whistling man whistle. I really like Roll Ricky. I have a feeling he's gonna be the next one in trouble. I feel like they told me to walk around for a reason. But it's also possible I'm just overthinking things and that was a chance to explore more. 
but I've already explored everything. You know what? On second thought, that's probably what it was, but I'm already downstairs, and as I walk around. I like all these little toys around. The door to the basement, I wonder? I need a key to get in there. I don't know who's in charge of cleaning this place, but they need to do a better job. Assuming that wasn't me who threw everything on the ground. Can I even pick up that map? It was probably me, actually. That was probably my bad. Alright, I guess nothing else down here. <laughs> Gibberish paper. Nothing in the trash. Need the key. Why would you lock up an emergency exit with a padlock? Padlock. Lock. For now. For now? That's... Oh, that actually isn't good. Because, like, with the roof door, I don't even think I could even get in it or anything. And same with the door at the end of the hall, you know, all of them say like, oh, need a key. Does that imply I'm going to have to escape out that door at some point? I feel like this is definitely going to culminate with us being the, next, being the like final target or whatever. He's going to get like pissed with us helping all his victims, well, trying to help his victims. He weren't exactly, um, we're not doing fantastic, I think. We've done better than saving... We've saved two in this episode and let one die on accident. So better than our usual score. Where is this roller rink? I just want to find it. St. Gabriel's Hospital. Probably get rid of these. He's dead now. Because he trusted a guy named Master Robbie. Roller skank, roller skank, roller skate, roller skate. I can't speak. I'm sorry. Roll of Rickies? Why is it in the middle of the woods? It's not in the middle of the woods. It's right across the street from the town, but... Oh. And then... The kids said they were at the murder estate? Murder house? I don't know if that's on this map. That's a jazz studio. Loriami estate. Loriami estate. Sounds kind of suspicious. Oh, there's a ravine nearby. There's going to be something out there for sure. Alright. Anyways, thanks for joining me for the this episode. Uh, if you liked it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to catch the next one. I'll be back in the uh, next episode.